Yes. Well, uh, they could be locked up, but there might not be any room for them to be locked up, Vanessa, because apparently the reason that many of them have been freed or they haven't been sent there in the first place is because there isn't anywhere to put them. So uh, where is this miraculous space going to be created from? Well, that, that, that's the question, isn't it, Mike? You know, I mean, at the moment, we're OK. You know, the, the, the prison population has has decreased. We've got around about three, four thousand 4,000 beds at the moment, and that's great. You know, this early release scheme, the, the two-parter, uh, some in September, some in October, um, has, has given the prison service breathing space. But that's all it's going to do. It's not going to solve the problems. No. And I think the, the, the review by David Bork, in, uh, which is due in spring next year, should uh, will be, A, very interesting to see what he's come up with. But I think, you know, it's a long time over overdue, a review of our sentencing um measures in this country yeah i mean one of the things that's that's in the review in the planning of it anyway is that they want to create another fourteen thousand spaces it doesn't really say um how they're going to do that or by what date they're going to do that but i mean you know we hear all the time that we lock too many people up and that we don't really do anything with them while they're inside and certainly some of the people being released yesterday uh, would would sort of back that up they all say you know the conditions are pretty awful the drugs are rife you know you can't really move without seeing people off their faces you know people don't want to work there because it's so horrible you know where are they suddenly going to get these 14,000 places from well i'm i'm <laughs> your guess is as good as mine probably out of a hat but, um, you know, cost, building a prison costs an awful lot of money. Um, and um, I'm not sure that this government is is prepared to put that money into the infrastructure of our prison service. Mm. You know, we've got a lot of old Victoriana prisons that are no longer fit for purpose. Um, and they're very difficult to work with. If they're very easy to get drugs in. They haven't got the technology that a modern prison would have, which is needed for, you know, today's mm. um, living really so um i think there needs to be a, some serious discussion i think you know a lot of people will will turn heads when this review comes out because it will it will have to be radical um i think strengthening community sentences for first-time offenders non-violent crimes you know people who make stupid comments on, on facebook you know, would far be better off serving their sentence in the community than in prison. Yeah, in exactly. Opinion. But, I mean, again, that was something that was a government decision, it was a political decision, it was made because they wanted to, and I quite understand why they wanted to do it, at the time they wanted to stop the, the violence, they wanted to stop the riots, and, and, and then it works. But, I mean, they're still doing it, and there aren't any more riots going on. So it's like, you know, you can chill out now a bit, and you don't have to continue doing it. The other thing I hear all the time, though, as well, is that you don't even get anywhere near a prison unless you've committed somewhere like 25 to 30 crimes probably more than that so i mean is it really true to say they're locking up the wrong people i mean aside from the people you've just mentioned you know the first time offenders maybe who've said something on facebook in terms of actual criminals there's not many criminals who are going into prison having committed one offense are there well i mean i don't know the exact figures but you know there there are there are offenders who are addicted to drugs addicted to alcohol who offend when when in a state of addiction um the could be better off served in the community and those addictions addressed you know I, i've said this many times mike yeah. you know you you jail somebody for six months out of that well under the old system they'd have done you know half of that slightly less now um but in that time they can lose their home their job their support systems and we let them out i, I was listening to one guy last night in wales who was let out and has been sleeping in a tent right since he's been let out of prison. Now, you know, we all know that homelessness is linked to reoffending. That That is part and parcel. You know, the statistics are there. Mm. And, and, and they're pr prisoners who are sentenced to 12 months or less are more than likely to reoffend. And that's the other thing as well, isn't it? Because obviously we've seen those people coming out and having nowhere to go. Um, if you're going to start releasing people out or you're going to have more sentences in the community, more people, um, you know, sort of under house arrest and that kind of thing, you're going to need more people to administer it. Because we've also seen uh, people coming out yesterday as they did last time. And I can't believe the Labour government have allowed this to happen again. Getting into Rolls Royces, getting into Bentleys, getting into Mercedes G-Wagons, getting into, in one case, a Lamborghini Urus. You know, these are cars that are not just nice. uh, six-figure cars. I mean, you're talking 350 grand for that one there you're looking at. You know, ridiculous amounts of money. So clearly there are some for whom uh, crime actually does pay. Because when you come out, you get picked up by somebody in a very nice car and get whisked off, no doubt, to some 
some, you know, love nest where there's people waiting for you, family members, you know, girlfriends, all the rest of it. So, you know, they're not all getting punished and, and losing everything, are they? No, not at all. But, you know, we really, the prison service releases prison, prisoners all the time. You know, you can't you can't say, well, you can't get into a Lamborghini or whatever. It's very it's very hard to stomach. I understand that for the public to see that. And I think, you know, also, let's not forget the victims of, of said crimes. Right. You know, it must be very difficult for them, too, to to see it. Exactly. But, and that's but, the thing. Um, I'm not you saying know, you're not allowed to have a Lamborghini. I've, I've seen prisoners. <laughs> no, I didn't think you were. But, you know, I've seen prisoners released and get picked up um, in Rolls Royces. Um, and, you know, you, you do look and think, well, who says crime doesn't pay? Well, exactly but, right. <laughs> Well, there's one guy in particular um, who's in the papers this morning uh, who was done for, I think, some form of, um, of fraud, Sheikh Yaqub al Sabah, uh, outside of HMP Wandsworth. Um, and he's uh, getting into a Lamborghini Urus, um, which is worth over £200,000. Now, he's been done for a financial offence. Now, surely, it seems to me, uh, you don't have to be, you know, Inspector Clouseau to suggest that maybe uh, that was bought with the ill-gotten gains of his crimes. Well, the police do have the powers to to take away um, proceeds of crime, you know. So um, I would I would I would question whether they actually have have done that. But um, you know, I can't I can't comment no. personally on on somebody's Lamborghini. You know, very very good luck to him. I say. Well, I you would know, say it's, to it's, the, it's, Well, let me let me let me put it to you this way: If I was sitting in Downey Street, I would be saying to Shabana Mahmood. By the way. Would you mind somehow organising it so that when these guys come out, there aren't a fleet of supercars waiting to pick them up because it's not a great look and people are angry. Even Keir Starmer said he was angry watching it, you know. Why don't they just do it differently so that people walk out of prison, they don't get into a car and they get ferried somewhere in a minibus and at least that would look better? Um, well, I suppose you could do that. I mean, you know... It's... <laughs> The, the thing is, you know, you put them in a coach and ferry them out. They will, you know, the press will follow it. And, and wherever you drop them off, you know, the, the cars are going to rock up. I, I think people people are focusing too much on, on that and, and the celebrations. And let's face it, if you've got nine months off the sentence, of course you're going to yeah, no, start celebrating. Yeah, I know. Celebrating. But Vanessa, you know as well as I do, that's how people feel. I you mean, know? people who are struggling, they're about to get whacked in the, in, in the, in the solar plexus and in the oh. wallet by this government. And all they can see when they watch the TV is a load of criminals having a great time because they're getting out of jail for free. Yeah, absolutely, and I don't, I don't, I don't disagree with that, Mike. And I totally understand how they how they feel. But you know, this this government has decided to do that. Um, th this is a um, an issue that has gone on for years. This isn't a new thing. You know, the Conservatives did a, a form of early release. The last Labour government did a early release scheme that lasted three years yeah. and they let out 81,000 prisoners. No, listen, I'm sure they've all done it, but I've never seen it quite as bad in terms of the way it looks as this. That's no. my point. And I, I, I do wonder whether it is done for effect. I have to say, you know, pick me up, at, go and hire a car and pick me up at, outside. Pr prisoners aren't stupid, you know. They'll they'll know that there's a big hoo-ha and a press, press release and they'll want to make the most of mm. that. And yeah. I... <laughs> Well, I, I don't. I, think, I mean, I, I, I haven't tried to. on more what's happening in in prisons and how we can correct that, rather than these 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 people who are released. You know, messing on about you know celebrating and that. Yeah. I, I think I really do. I think that the, the time has come for us to have a real hard look at our prison service to stop images like this. Yeah. You know, prisoners are don't forget, Mike. Prisoners are released every day of the week. It's not just. Um, two two times you know once in no, september once in i get that. so but, and I, but listen i've never tried to rent it a, looks worse. i've never tried to rent a rolls royce coolanan but i imagine you don't just nip down the local budget uh, or avis because uh, they don't have them and i imagine it still costs quite a lot of money vanessa freight though thanks very much in